All right, another work week in the books. This is actually a week ago. So technically this first training day was two weeks ago from today, which is awesome because things don't look as bad as they probably felt that particular day. Top single at 242 and a half or 535, move slow. But for me, it's about status quo, so it's all good. From there, I moved on to some bench, which I think the form here is looking pretty good. I'm actively trying to press back or toss the bar off me, so to say, instead of just press it up. I think that's working out pretty well. Unfortunately, with some of the filming, I was not able to get my top sets of banded squats right after that because they were killer. They were like 400 some pounds with some blue bands on top of it, but the files were corrupt. YouTube just doesn't want to show you my gains because there are some hidden in there. Moving on to the next day, some more bench work again, trying to push up and back. I think it's working. It's going to take me some time to get it dialed in. Stuff that's not working, though, are these pause on the halfway down squats. If you haven't done these before, you're very lucky. These are the worst things in the whole wide world. But part of this is to help exploit my weaknesses, which in this part is letting my knees drift forward some. So it really forces me to get into a good position because if I don't and I pause on that halfway, my knees feel like they're going to explode. So the good thing is, is the week after, which just happened a couple days ago, did my last set of those, which hopefully is going to be for the foreseeable future because we're moving on to some other type of squat assistance and variation works in this particular micro cycle. Um, we've done some more bench work here. So lots of benching these days. I think I'm benching like four times per week. Also some overhead press, or at least what I can do. Again, my ceilings are not the tallest. I am a tall man and I cannot do standing overhead press, so I'm doing more of these seated ones. It's kind of a hybrid in between like a military press because I don't have any back support, uh, but my shoulder pressing is awful, which probably also correlates to my bench pressing. So if I get good at this, maybe I will be better at the bench press. Next day here, did a top single at 502 pounds. Felt pretty good, surprisingly. So again, not too bad. Maybe I should do more of these videos where I'm like a week behind because I don't remember how bad I felt during this particular week. So that's great. More bench work here. Again, adding in lots of volume. I was actually for a while with TSA benching four times per week. And although I never went really heavy, I did find that my bench started to get a little bit better. From here also did some stiff legged deadlifts. Nothing too heavy here. Take a look at the background and that weird watery mark on the wall there. That's because my lift banner fell down. These concrete walls, when it gets cold, the adhesive I use does not work very well. Plus there's a little bit of dust on them. So I made sure I cleaned it off and you guys will see going forward that that lift banner is back in place and then finish the day also with just some of these bent over rows, T-bar rows, kind of pendle rows, wherever you want to call them, whatever it is, you got to do it because I've never seen a strong man with a little back. So back work is always good. And a lot of the accessories I do is based around that. Uh, next day, obviously here, some floor pressing. Look at this angle, putting the camera on the ground. We're getting all kinds of fancy here. Nothing heavy though, 110, as I mentioned already. This is just kind of a way to add in some volume and get a lot more work done. Hopefully it's working. Speaking of other things I don't like though, these paused deadlifts. So I'm trying to pause like a couple inches right off the floor. Again, look at my form, which you guys know is the best here, but these pauses really put the pressure on where I suck at. So I'm really trying to fight to get my back a little bit more upright and move my shins back some. And hopefully that's going to help pay off in the long run. I also finally got to use this multi-grip barbell. You guys may have seen me post this on Instagram. I'll eventually do a review, but this is a pretty cool bar and I'm using it to do some close grip bench presses. And the nice thing is, is I'm not going to use it a ton, but it also wasn't very expensive at all. It was like 85 bucks and it's actually really well made. So I'll be using this for some of my tricep work or some of my other bench variations. Because again, if you haven't noticed, I'm benching a lot these days. Well, a lot in terms of, again, frequency and not overall weight. And then my favorite movement are these dumbbell rows. Someone mentioned in the last video that they like to actually move themselves up on the bench some. And I actually played around with it now in the present. So you're not going to see that till next week, but it did make it more difficult. And I appreciate that little tip. And speaking of little tips, as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time.